Wine Vapors. It is your boy Billy, aka Wayne Brown, aka Downtown Brown, aka aka Billy Brown Bear. Now, I just got off of work at the shop. Uh, if you saw my last video, I do work in a vape shop. And couldn't help but notice the amount of questions I had about juices and what blend to use for certain vapes or what's the best juice for your mod and why is my coil burning out so much. I'm going to give you information on why that is with certain juice. Hamster got in the way. And um, so I want to give you guys some information and hopefully help you to maybe save a coil or stop getting that crappy juice on your hands because no one likes vape juice on their fingers. It's annoying. Um, but as you can see, I do have a collection of bigger mods as well as an RDA that I use um, and a little one. Now, there's four main blends of juice and there's the 80-20 which is high VG and there's also 60-40 which is 60% vegetable glycerin, 40% propylene glycol and there's 65-35 and there's also 50-50. Um, 50-50 I highly recommend you use for pens and little tiny puffer puffers like this like the eye stick or e-leaf eye stick um, mainly because that little hole you see there that's where the juice gets soaked into the coil and with high VG juices the 8020 it is too thick so you'll pretty much be vaping your cotton rather than the juice if you use 8020 with little machines like this 5050 is perfect because of how thin and coarse it is it'll soak in there and give you a more flavorful hit now, I recommend that for people who start vaping that has a little stick and little pens. And as for 80-20, 65-35, 80-20 is very ideal for big mods like this because of how thick the juice is. As you can see, the juice intake slits that get into the cotton. If you use 50-50 with these, your mod will leak and you will get spit back. You know, the hot juice that spits in the back of your throat and you're like, holy shit, that, that burnt. That will happen if you use 50-50. I recommend 80-20 and 65-35, which brings me to my next thing is this juice right here. It's called Twisted Tongue. Probably the best juice I've ever had the liberty to try. It is 65-35 blend. They are handmade, and I do not kid, they are the best juices I've ever had. The best line of juice I've, I've ever tried. And this particular one right here, Blue Raspberry Lemonade and the Pina Colada. Spot on. This tastes like you're drinking Pina Colada and this tastes like you're drinking Blue Raspberry Lemonade. And there's so many more flavors as you can see that are amazing, they're phenomenal. And if you wanna get some, my I'll, I will put the link to the website at the bottom of this video in the description, as well as the email to contact the man that has the skill to do this because they are perfect. I'll put that in the description below. <laughs> Make sure that you give a shout out to me when you email this guy about how much juice you ordered, which I recommend as you can see, I ordered all these. And they're perfect with my mods. I've never had any spick back. None of them have leaked. And by the way, this will not be in the description, so listen closely. If you want to order this phenomenal juice, however many you want to order. I'm giving you a coupon code right now for 15% off your order off of that website. That website will be in my description, but the coupon code is not. It is called Twisted for Life. No spaces, and it's not a four, it's F-O-R. So Twisted for Life, 15% off when you order online. I'm gonna move on to batteries. Endless questions. On what battery is better? What's the best brand of battery? What's a milliamp? What does that do? A uh, milliamp is, I guess, it's hard to explain, the life of the battery. And you can see my pretty little snow wolf. Thanks to milliamps, it's able to light up like a little rainbow, like Roy G. Biv. Now, um, you can see I am using Samsung 25Rs, as you can see. Uh, high quality battery, very good. Um, I also use EFest 3500 milliamps and I also use MXJOs which are 3000 milliamps. Now the milliamps, the higher the milliamp, the higher battery life you will have. I do recommend 
a bigger mod that holds two batteries. Um, and the higher milliamp, like I said, the higher battery life you have because you don't want to be having to charge it all the time. And this little port for a Samsung charger, that's good, but that can kill your batteries. So I do recommend a four bay battery charger. So I'm gonna bring the camera up to here real quick. I recommend these a lot. And as you can see, my batteries are currently charging. It gives you the voltage at which your batteries are at right now. And this right here, 0.5 amps, this has a different setting for what you wanna charge your batteries on. Now I wanna run through this really quick um that the five milliamp or the 0.5 amp charge there's a 0.5 there's a 1.0 and there's a 0.2 now 0.5 is the best that is the best it'll give you the most life um one is acceptable it'll be faster not really detrimental to to your battery now two milliamp or two amps i recommend do not use because that will kill your battery because what it does is the charge is too strong for the battery. And once your battery is fully charged, it'll break down the cell wall of your battery. And you, may, you might get four weeks out of your batteries. Now, if you use 5, 0.5 amps, after you charge your battery from it being completely dead, as you can see I'm doing right here, you'll get probably a day and a half, two days out of this set of batteries, no matter how much you use it. I keep my mod on all day, and as you can see that little green bar, it is fully charged. Now I, starting vaping, I didn't know anything about that, and eventually I learned my batteries started pooping out on me, and it was, it was awful. I wasted so much money on batteries, I do not want you guys to do that. And I wanted to keep, I was going to throw these out, but I want to keep these for video purposes. This casing. If you ever see that casing, throw this away. Cause you, I'm sure some of you have heard of vapes blowing up in people's faces and their mouths and them losing teeth and shit. Um, yeah, if you ever see this, throw this away. Because it's just not good news. Just keep your teeth. Do me a favor, do yourself a favor and keep your teeth. I don't wanna be responsible for that. And the casing is very important to the battery. It keeps it from heating up. If your batteries ever get super hot and you're like, holy fuck, I can't hold it. It's probably because your casing might be a little bit tattered or unless you're using an RDA, you're not regulating the power compared to the amount of power your, your batteries are putting out. Um, so if you're using an RDA or if you're using a, just a regular mod, a regulated mod with a regular tank, keep it at four volts. Don't go above four volts because that's when your batteries start heating up and I'm sure some of you have burned your hand on your mod. Keep it at four volts. And I recommend using batteries that are 25 milliamps and higher. And where you find that on a battery, it'll be written right there. Yeah, as you can see, 3,000 milliamps. And those are ideal, great battery life. And Another thing is a lot of people don't know about batteries is they have a, like a memory on them. So if you don't use all your battery for a day and it's, let's say it's halfway charged and you put them in your charger halfway and they charge fully and you get up, you put them in your mob, blah, blah, blah. And once you reach the halfway waypoint and it just dies after that. It's because there's an internal memory inside of that battery. And remember like, oh, he charged me halfway. I'm talking as a battery right now. He charged me halfway and I've been used to that so I'm just gonna go ahead and die. No, don't do that. It's fully charged right now. Kill your battery completely to where it won't even hit. Then put them in your charger and I'll let you see how much battery life you get out of that. Um, that's just a tip I've learned and it's true. Um, most batteries do have memories on them. So kill your battery, 25 milliamps and up, um, throw that shit away if the casing is ripped. Oh, damn hamster again. Sorry, meet Hammy. She's my little hamster. Bad casing, throw it away. And 50-50, BGPG, 
for the little guys. 80-20, 65-35 for the big dogs. And don't forget, Twisted for Life. 15% off. That will not be in the description, but the website will be, as well as the gentleman's email. And as always, this is your boy Billy Brown. Have a great day.